channel my name is Idemise and this is Idemise official beauty so I am a content creator I love creating contents for you guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please go ahead press that red button and subscribe to the so on today's okay. video it's so going to be a bit different from the videos that i usually make which is beauty um it's kind of you know lifestyle but you know it's it's a bit different so i am going to be talking about uh working as an early childhood educator especially in canada so i'm just going to give you a bit of what i do as an early childhood educator and how it's come along over the years my experience over the years okay just a bit um, I will be doing a lot more videos so if you're an educator and you want to know or you want to become an early childhood educator you know there's more videos on to this topic all right so let's get started okay so I've been working in this field approximately maybe seven years I graduated in 2014 um i went to a college by uh the name of centennial college um i did the i would say the shorter version um normally it's two years but i did a year and a half that's because i did the first year straight through and then i did the last semester um the following year if that makes sense um the reason why i went into this program honestly is because i wanted to do something that involved social worker meaning family guidance counseling that's the field that i've always wanted to you know motivating helping and encouraging families that was my goal but um because going to college for social worker is not the social worker that i thought it would be i said you know what let me go, let me go into a career that's closest to it which is early childhood education which is normally just dealing with you know children in their early years. That was years, a bit of right? information on how I started and why, right? Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth on this video. I'm just going to give you a bit of my experience. And, you know, a lot has changed over the years in terms of working as an ECE, which is the shorter version, if you don't know. Um, it's changed. It, it has changed. And this is a career that I've become passionate about. I love. I admire. There's so many... Um, things about it that people like people don't see and normally when people talk about ECEs they normally see babysitters or just educators that is babysitting children but actually if there's more to it than that you know what I mean if you really understand who we are and what our career um, has but anyways become. my first experience as an ECE was in 2014 when I got my first job well you know you'll get your placement when you're in college you go to placement and you know I've worked in I've had placement in the school I've had placement in the daycares which I had a bit experience with toddlers kindergartens so that prepared me to go into the workplace so yeah my first work experience was in 2014 guys um, yeah, it was in 2014, I started working with preschoolers, with a mixture of preschoolers and kindergarten. Uh, yeah, so that was quite an experience for me. I'm not going to tell you the good and bad of the career on this video, but I will say it was quite an experience. But it's also where I learned to love this career a lot. Whether there's some things that I agree with it, some things I don't agree with it. I think my first job gave me a, an experience to realize that working as an educator is not just like babysitters like people said but also looking at children from a deeper understanding even though we're taught that in school but it really gives you that experience that every child is different in the environment and you learn that they are and you learn a lot from them and from their lives and you learn a lot from about yourself you know and especially in your childhood so you try to You'll learn to relate and that's what happened with me in my first job okay um like I, yeah so i would say my full experience as an ece has been a beautiful experience but it has been uh overwhelming experience you know what i mean i'm keeping it real i'm being honest 
Um, this is a career. This is a career that I think that as ECEs we should fight for it because there's so much to fight for. Unfortunately, the pay has not gotten there. You know, the pay is still at it's still very very low. I mean, there are workplaces that has raised the pay. You know what I mean? I was fortunate to be in one of those workplaces that paid me what I need to be paid. But working as an ECE here. Is a load it can be a load because like I said it's not just a babysitting job there's a lot of paperwork there is um, there is a lot of um, activities a lot of things to be implemented in the environment so you don't really have that play play time with a child you know what I mean some may disagree and that's okay but that's just my opinion you you I feel like in as an ECE, with my experience, you don't really have time to have that. You do. It's a time. very short and experience. So you try to take those memories and you try to incorporate them, um, whether in your personal life, in the environment, or in activities or whatever. So, yeah. So that's all I can say about my experience. Like I say, this video will be very, very short. It's not going to go in depth on what I mean. Um... I am a little bit frustrated at a lot of ECEs in terms of advocating for the career. You know, I feel like this is a career like it doesn't get the respect it deserves, especially in Toronto. Um, COVID taught us a lot. ECE means nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, and I feel that educators in general doesn't mean anything here, you know what I mean? But we do a lot we do a lot and this is a career that we should advocate for but not just on you know or we're caring for children but also on who we are as ECEs I feel that we fail on that a lot I mean what is the ECE if they are not at their best they are not represented well and to you know to be the best for a child what is the ECE you know what I mean I feel that we know there's a lot that goes on behind the scene there's a lot that needs to be fixed um, there's a lot that needs to be talked about, but we really don't, we don't advocate for it. And I know this is something that most of us, when we went to college, we've been taught to advocate, but I don't see that a lot. So in terms of working in Canada, there is ups and downs, you know what I mean? This is a career, like any other job, you wanna make sure it's stable, you wanna make sure it's paying you a lot. Like I said, the pay is still at a level, you know what I mean? Um, most ECs cannot make a living out of this career, and that's the honest truth, most ECs can't, okay? I can get into an in-depth video on that. Um, it's unfortunate because, like I said, this career is something that it's just, it's more than just caring or just taking care of a child. There's more to it than that. And it's sad that a lot of us cannot make a proper living of this field. And I think there's a lot of corruptions and that goes on into the daycares and, and it's not properly, there's a, you know, there's a lot of improvement that needs to happen to bring ECEs at a level where they need to be at. And we do have... Um, organization I would say that do rally for us and if I I don't have it in my head now these organization I'll put it on the screen um, thankfully for them they have been rooting for us a lot and whether it's the College of ECE or I forgot the other organization they really do a good job on trying to get us informed on what's going on in the field of ECE so yeah um, in terms of working in Canada it is the good the bad and the ugly i've had my experience where i wanted to leave this career and i've ha i've did that for a very short period of time and i realized that my passion for working with children is really there and it's something that i cannot um let go you know what i mean uh so yeah so my experience working in canada as an ece is frustrating at some sometimes, um, but it's something that I, I'm willing to advocate for. I'm willing to speak about. I'm willing to put it out there because I feel that as ECEs we know, but we've become delusional about the issue. You know the issues that affect us on a daily basis because it is not easy working 
in daycare in particular it's not easy because it's not just the children it's not you know what i mean there's a lot in vol working as a ece in canada people who would love for a lot of people to come and work as ec in canada i would suggest you do your research um in terms like the college that you're attending uh make sure you get wonderful experience you get the, you know like you get the full experience that you need to get as an ece that when you go out there then you're ready to work out there because a lot of times what we're taught in school may not be the experience that we're going to get out there you know what i mean there's a difference between sitting in the classroom and getting that experience or getting that learning you know what i mean if that makes sense and then going out there and getting the hands on hands experience if that makes sense but um but that's all i can say is yeah working. as an early childhood educator in canada um it is a totally different experience you know what i mean i have um acquaintances i have friends you know i have family who's worked as an early childhood educator or they've worked in a child uh, daycare system or you know in the school and let's let's just say this right now like the school the daycare they are two different two totally different experiences so everybody experience differently you know what i mean but i'm pretty sure um we all can agree like in canada it's it's totally different but anyways like i was saying um if you're somebody you know i know a lot of international students who 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 want you know gets into the career and you know they might have a different experience in their hometown or in their country than they would have here so i would say definitely do your research um be passionate about what you're doing make sure this is the field that you want to go to and no it's not just a babysitting job there's more to it than that and make sure that you know who you are you know you know the life that you want so make sure that you know that you can get a career out of this so realistically speaking make sure you know you can get a career okay um in terms of me i have plans i have plans uh i don't want to reveal them right now as an ece i don't i, I don't but I definitely want to contribute more to this career field. And yeah, I definitely want to bring more. I'll probably talk about it later in the video, in another video. But yeah, so that is my experience working as an early childhood educator. Seven years, guys. And like I said, this video is not in depth. So if you'd like to see more in-depth videos, stay tuned. Um yeah stay tuned stay tuned okay i'll probably talk about the pros and cons i am not gonna sit i'm not one of those people or one of those eces i'm gonna just sit here and talk about the good i i really believe in speaking honesty and being realistic you know what i mean because it's such a uh unique career you know it's such a unique career and i think that we should save the career because i think a lot of eces are leaving the field you know i i know a lot of daycares i know and i don't want to say a lot to over exaggerate but i know daycares um that are looking for eces and it's hard for them to find eces like they used to back then because a lot has left the field okay a lot of eces i said you know what i'm not going to do this anymore i'm done i am tired it's not worth it so and i understand i truly 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 do truly do understand that so I I would confess and say a lot needs to be done to protect ECEs in this career field and making sure that they have um, the stability that they need in this career. And yes, you know it's I mean? about the children and first. Um, it's about protecting them. But like I said before, what is a child's environment if the ECE uh is overwhelmed and cannot be appreciated in some environment so that's what i would say as a early childhood educator for like everybody has like i said different experience but um there's a lot of work to be done as an ece uh yeah so anyways guys i know there's probably a lot that i've left out because i'm in a hurry right now but 
um if you are ece in canada let me know what you think about this video we can meet up we can talk what's up okay what's up okay but anyways um i will see you guys in another video so peace out